this is Frederick from Detroit Berlin and today I have a very simple module from Duffer it's a mixer it's the A138G what this mixer does it is a four channel mixer but it is also an inverter and an attenuator so it can be multiple things this little 6HP mixer from Duffer. It has a few outputs that it can individually send out that will then not go to the mix output or still go to the mix output. So it can do many things. Let's quickly go over the patch I just played. The A110-1 VCO from Duffer, the standard VCO just did a video on that. I will link it in the description. We got the VCO and all these waveform outputs are going into the inverting mixer from Duffer, the A138G. Then we take the mixer and we send it to the Moog Matriarch, which is transposing the sequence and the sequence is actually running from the Maleco voltage block which is not only controlling the pitch of the sequence going into the standard VCO but it's also controlling the left and the right filter from the matriarch and also how much the filter envelope generator is opening. I'm also sending one channel through the echophone by make noise, sending it back into the mixer and that's creating a nice effect on the sound. Let's go over the module and what all the knobs and switches do. So we got all the knobs and the knobs are attenuators. They go from 0 to 10, 0 meaning of course there's no signal going to the mix or yeah the attenuation of the channel is at zero and then it goes all the way up to 10 and 10 it just passes through the signal fully got four of them because we got four channels these are inputs so these jacks one two three and four or of course the four inputs of these channels then we got again one, two, three, four, these are outputs. And when you plug something into these outputs, it will not add it to the mix. And the mix are these two outputs and these two outputs from the mix out. They're just copies, they're the same. So you can send it to yeah, two different uh, locations. And then you got the signal out B. So this is a signal out A. This is a signal out B for only the first and the second channel. If you plug a jack into these two outputs, the one and the two, it will not disconnect it from the mix out. So you can send it to an FX and then send it back into the mixer and still have the dry signal in there so you can do many things with a mixer that is very small. If we look at the switches these are really handy. If the switch is in the middle position it's muted, the channel is muted. If it's in the upwards position then the channel is inverted. So if you send a positive control voltage in there, it will make a negative control voltage. Same with a VCO, you can invert the waveform. When you switch it to the downward position, it's on in a non-inverted way. So it just takes the incoming signal and sends it to the mix out. Or if you plug something in the middle, column of outputs then it just does not send it to the mix out. So there's maybe not so much more to say about a mixer that yeah 
does its job well. That mixes control voltages and audio. It's a really small footprint. These knobs are the smaller duffer knobs, but they're totally fine. Just got enough wiggle room and it's not like it's a performance mixer where you really need to constantly tweak things. It's nice to have it in your system, maybe um, mix between some wave shapes and make complex wave shapes like I showed in the 5 easy ways to turbocharge your VCO video. I'll link that in the description. What I kind of really like about these, yeah, more recent Duffer modules. Duffer recently, they are using those round nuts and they're really putting those in and outputs pretty close together with these more recent modules. And sometimes I like this, sometimes I don't, but I must say, in this form factor with the knobs all on top and the in and outs all on the bottom, I think in a module like this that works really well. There's enough room to control the knobs, control the switches. It might be a little bit claustrophobic in a system where you have more like uh, also jacks pretty close here and there because you might not get your hands in there well but then again you can use blanking panels. I really like this way of having the jacks on the bottom and the knobs and switches on the top. It's not always the best solution but with a mixer it, it is and it works really well. Really like this. It deserves a place in everyone's modular system especially if you don't want to spend too much on HP and want some modules that can do multiple things like just mix or just attenuate or invert. So it does what it does and it does it well. So what more can I say? If you like this video, it's a shorter video, but if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you really want to support me, go over to my Patreon and join me there. I have patch notes of all patches I made on this modular system on my Duffer videos. I have them linked in my Patreon, so if you join me there, you can access all those patches and yeah, more will follow. So thank you for watching and hope to see you soon. Bye bye.